Introducing the new LEAP cardiomyocyte assay. Recording cardiac action potential like signals on Axion's Maestro Pro and Edge systems. Building on the success of the cardiomyocyte field potential in the CIPA Phase 1 and Phase 2 studies, new technological advances developed at Axion allow for the transformation of the field potential signal into an intracellular like action potential signal adding new capabilities to the in vitro cardiomyocyte MEA assay. This signal, termed the local extracellular action potential, or LEAP, is produced by transiently enhancing the cell electrode coupling to directly change the signal recorded at the electrode, and uses the same cardiomyocytes and axion MEA plates validated in the CIPA studies. So how does LEAP work? The theory behind LEAP is similar to that of patch clamp technique where the recorded signal amplitude is proportional to the sealing resistance between the electrode and the cell, such that a gigaohm seal allows the faithful acquisition of the transmembrane action potential. By changing the coupling between the cells and the electrode, we are able to transition from recording a field potential signal to the leap signal. The resulting leap signal exhibits an amplitude between 5 and 20 millivolts and is stable for 10 to 20 plus minutes after induction. Importantly, the signal shape changes to reflect the action potential morphology, including the plateau phase of the cardiac action potential. Advances in the BioCore V4 processor in the Maestro Pro and Edge enable the faithful acquisition of low frequency content that characterizes the plateau phase of the signal. Additionally, since the BioCore V4 processor is optimized to detect small neural or cardiac signals, the low noise and high signal amplitude lead to a signal to noise ratio over a thousand for a very clean recording. For reference, this is the field potential signal from the same electrode immediately prior to induction of the leap signal, displayed on the same voltage and time scales. The leap signal affords a number of advantages for cardiac safety assays. The first is to solidify the relationship between the field potential signal and the cardiac action potential by providing a direct one-to-one -one mapping for important cardiac endpoints. To illustrate this concept, we have a field potential signal and a leap signal from neighboring electrodes in the same wells. If we zoom in on the field potential signal, we can clearly see how the depolarization spike in the field potential aligns with the upstroke of the leap signal. Similarly, the repolarization feature in the field potential matches the end of the plateau phase in the leap signal, with irregularities in repolarization clearly coordinated across the two signals. The size and shape of the leap signal also improve the reliability and accuracy of automated analysis. Many of the key features for cardiac safety, such as prolongation of repolarization or the occurrence of EADs, are more easily detected by automated algorithms in the leap signal. Automated detection of EADs in particular is made possible due to the extremely high signal to noise ratio coupled with the faithful representation of the plateau phase in the cardiac action potential. The leap signal provides a new dimension to cardiac safety assays with microelectrode array technology. As an entirely new signal type on the Maestro Pro and Edge, New leap endpoints allow quantification of action potential morphology, such as triangulation or characterization and classification of complex repolarization irregularities. The advantages of leap are amplified by the label-free nature of the approach and the flexibility to induce leap independently on each electrode. In this example, leap was induced only on the right half of electrodes in the well. For electrodes on the left half, the field potential shape remained constant immediately before and after induction of LEAP on neighboring electrodes in the well. Also, the beating rate of the cardiomyocyte culture was unchanged by LEAP induction. Finally, LEAP is non-destructive, such that the signals return to the same field potential shape observed prior to LEAP induction. These advantages are easily realized through incorporation of the LEAP signal into the standard cardiac safety MEA assay workflow. As illustrated here, the leap signal may be induced and acquired following a SIPA style field potential assay with baseline and dosed recordings collected after equilibration in the controlled environment on the Maestro Pro Reg. Then, leap induction may be performed independently but simultaneously on some or all electrodes per well. The induction phase lasts approximately 10 minutes during which the plate remains equilibrated on the Maestro. 
After induction is completed, the leap signal is recorded, providing confidence in field potential measurements, improvements in automated analysis, and information on action potential morphology. The advantages of LEAP are highlighted by a few case studies in pharmacology. Here we illustrate the change in the LEAP signal in response to the block of calcium and potassium currents. Each waveform was acquired from an individual well and is referenced to the vehicle control, shown here in black. As expected, increasing concentrations of nifedipine, an L-type calcium channel blocker, progressively shortened the duration of the LEAP signal. Increasing concentrations of E4031, a blocker of the Herg potassium channel, first prolonged repolarization and then generated repolarization irregularities. Finally, combined block of calcium and potassium currents with verapamil shortened the duration of the leap signal and eliminated the plateau phase of the action potential. In this second case study, we use the leap signal to reproduce results collected with action potential recordings in dog Purkinje fiber for tolteridine and teratoline. Both drugs were designed for the same indication, urinary incontinence, but teratoline was removed from the market for Tersade de Pont risk. In this previous study, tolteridine was found to prolong the action potential without changing its shape. By comparison, teratoline induced little prolongation overall, but was associated with significant triangulation of the action potential, which is believed to be an electrophysiological precursor to Tersade de Pont. Using the LEAP signal, we confirm that tolteridine prolonged the action potential in stem cell-derived cardiomyocytes, but did not affect action potential morphology. Teratoline, however, first prolonged the action potential and then induced triangulation at higher concentrations, similar to the in vitro results from the action potential study with the dog per Purkinje fiber. These two case studies illustrate the power of the LEAP signal for standard SIPA style evaluations of ion channel ph pharmacology and for more advanced characterizations of prorhythmic risk with stem cell derived cardiomyocytes. Next steps in the application of the LEAP signal are to pair with other Maestro technologies to continue reinventing cardiac safety assessment in vitro. Here we demonstrate electrical pacing of the LEAP signal with integrated stimulation electrodes in the side of U24 well plate. Using the Maestro Pro and Edge, leap signals can be electrically paced without distortion from the stimulation artifact to improve assay reliability and investigate use dependence. Similarly, the LUMOS enables optogenetic pacing of cardiomyocytes, whereby light-sensitive ion channels are introduced in the cell membrane through genetic techniques to initiate membrane depolarization upon incident light. Just as the leap signal offers multiple advantages that complement the field potential signal, Combining this technology with reliable pacing will further improve the comprehensive nature of cardiomyocyte MEA assays. In conclusion, the local extracellular action potential signal adds a new dimension to standard cardiomyocyte MEA assays. LEAP is produced through a simple label-free induction phase and is characterized by an action potential shape with high amplitude and stability on the time scale of 10 to 20 plus minutes. The addition of the LEAP signal provides a clear translation of field potential signals, improvements in automated EAD detection, and new endpoints for quantifying action potential morphology. The LEAP assay will become available for Maestro Pro and Edge users in spring 2018. I invite you to visit the Axion Biosystems website at axionbiosystems.com to learn more about the Maestro Pro and Edge and the new applications enabled by these next generation MEA platforms. Thank you.